So it looks like Halo Infinite is getting rid of events, dot, 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 and replacing that with operations. If you check the newest Halo Waypoint blog or season five, which is basically the battle pass and operations blog post, you'll see that it is evolving. Now there's gonna be a lot of different blog posts coming up that are gonna cover things for season five. So if you wanna keep up to date with that and you don't wanna just like constantly refresh the website, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I know like 90% of you aren't subbed or grinding the 15K. I have to do my obligatory, man, I really messed that word up. YouTube shout out. So if just a couple of you hit that sub button, we can hit 15K super fast. Anyways, the blog posts are going to go over Halo gear rewards, mode overview, maps overview, forge updates overview, ranked overview, and customization overview. But this one talks about events and the battle pass. So the battle pass is also changing. It's going from a 100 tier battle pass down to a 50 tier battle pass. Now everybody's probably going to be like, what the heck? Bleh. But I'm honestly going to tell you right now that I think this is a better system. I think it's an improvement. I know a lot of people are going to be like, it's less tiers. I'm going to run through it super fast. But I'm just going to tell you to keep an open mind because I think that they've made improvements. But anyways, they say historically the battle pass may offer a coding for each armor core and it's represented by individual separate offers across separate tiers. With season five, you'll see a coding offered in a single tier and it will work and apply to every core in the game. So instead of having like a ton of stuff spread out through the pass, it's like the exact same reward. They're just condensing it. I think that's very cool. You'll also be able to play custom games and get XP towards that. So that's good. They say that the premium battle pass will still cost a thousand credits, still include a thousand credits as rewards. So that's good. They also say that it will include an exclusive instant unlock bonus customization item with purchase. They've also made it to where the free content in the battle pass will be streamlined to just be the first 20 tiers of the pass. That means it'll take people, you know, less gameplay to actually unlock that stuff which I think is good. They say that the free battle pass will be available until the operation begins and they'll let you know in the game's UI. Season 5's free battle pass will be active until November 14th. Upon expiration, the 20 free tiers of content will no longer be available to unlock. So keep that in mind. So I think those are decent changes. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel. Now let's move on to event stuff. They talk about how events have been, you know, a place where you can get free earnable themed rewards during a specific window of time. They took feedback into account and they're evolving how events are. They say with season five, they're going to change to operations, which are similar to events in spirit, but brings a few changes. They say one thing that's not changing is that the events will be free. So you get a free battle pass. They say unlike prior events, the operation will run for approximately four to six weeks, so a month to a month and a half, and you'll be able to unlock stuff during that entire duration. There's also going to be a premium option now, which will include a few additional options. You can upgrade an active operation for 500 credits, which will instantly unlock an exclusive bonus customization item, and also make the operation pass quote unquote durable, which means it will not expire. Then there's a second premium option for 2,000 credits where it will, ex you know, instantly unlock all 20 tiers. They say that the way that you progress an operation is also changing compared to how previous events were. You had to complete challenges to unlock the 10 tiers. And starting with season five, it will be based on match XP. So you can play in whatever playlist you want, custom games, and you'll get match XP towards that operation. There will be two operations in Season 5, Combined Arms, which begins November 14th, and Winter Contingency 3, which begins December 19th. So what does that mean? I, I, I think that last season we kind of saw how events were starting to evolve with like specific themed maps and stuff like that. I'm curious to see how this operations thing's gonna work out you know to pay 500 credits or five dollars i guess or whatever it is to get an instant unlock bonus cosmetic is whatever to me i don't i've always hated that you can just buy a full tier of a battle pass or yeah like a full battle pass um so like the 2000 credits to just instantly unlock stuff is kind of whack to me but you can spend your money however you want it the changes to the battle pass overall i think are better than they are bad but let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this. If you think uh, we're going to see some pretty crazy events going forward. It really does feel like Season 5 is just going to be 
fantastic in my opinion i think that it's been what we've been waiting for for a long time if you've you know been a fan of the channel or been subscribed and watched the videos for a long time then you would know that i said season five really felt like the season that we were going to see a lot of changes and it looks like that's coming true a lot of additional content is being added so very exciting but that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. It greatly helps the channel out in the algorithm and makes me become the third best Halo YouTuber on this platform. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!